This is holy. I've never clapped eyes on your poor sister. Drop the act, hag. You was the last to see me, Rena. Just let her go. Please. You there? Please, I don't know what's come over these boys. I just want to go home. The old woman's face creases with false concern. You realize she's lying about seeing this girl, Mayrina. Stop this! We won't ask again. Bollocks. You were supposed to rush to my defense, love. Fat lot of good you are. Some advice? You ever darken my door, you'd best have that head bowed and an apology at the ready. Bye-bye now. Bloody hells. She just disappeared. I ain't seen nothing like that before. She could shoot fireworks out of her backside for all I care. The hag has Rina. It's our sister, Marina. She's... Well, she was in a bad way after her husband died. Started saying weird things, like how she was gonna bring him back. Next thing, she's gone looking for the hag of all the stupid things to do. And we haven't seen her since. And no good ever came from dealing with a hag. None of this matters, all right? We need to get her back, and fast! Are you joking? I ain't got a clue who you are. No way I'm leaving Rena to you. But, Joel... Not a chance. We're getting her back on our own. Now, come on. chill runs up your spine. You feel like you're being watched. The place has a quiet sense of calm. You can't see anything strange. The sheep's voice warbles. You realize it's trying to say bar. Wheezing, the sheep backs away. The brothers. I guess they didn't find their sister. Whoever did this wanted them to suffer. We need to be careful. I don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Auntie Ethel, please. One more bite and this pie is gonna come back up to say hello. Don't make me get the wooden spoon. You're eating for two, so get to it. If it isn't the cheekiest pop of them all. 
You'd best have one hells of an apology for me, young lady. Oh, is it hard to see from up there on your high horse? If only you knew some of the horrors your pretty little gods had committed. You know, I was going to give you a swift kick up the arse and show you the door, but I think you and I could have a bit of fun together. Gods, grant me patience. Eat up, Mayrina. I won't say it again. Keep that hole under your nose shut, or things will get messy. Well, you hurt the lady. We don't want things to get messy. What is it? What's going on? That can't be true. Auntie Ethel. They were being rude, and I detest rudeness. <laughs> Enough! Away with you! Blessed silence at last! Some time in the cage should do her good! And you! You'll regret sticking your nose in my business! You blink and the wilderness changes. A swamp, stinking and insidious, assaults your senses. Keep them guessing. The lance board is set. On my way. Time to push my luck again. Need to find a way forward. Can't give up. Not now. Enjoy playing with your new friends. Bye bye. Hag can't have gone far. You are as thick as they come, sweetness. This is my personal playhouse, and you don't have an invite. Get out! Has that wriggler eaten your brain already? Leave, or you'll end up in tonight's stew. You'll go nicely with Marina. She's already marinating. Ah. What's that? My sweet Callum, whose beloved asked that his beauty never fade. Stop. Please. What is this place? Dear wish never to lay eyes on her family again. Wait. Wait. My dearest Ephraim, he begged me to halt the deadly disease that ravaged him. Stop, please. Please. 
You feel crushing waves of fear as the presence within the door recoils. It can't let people through, not again. Images flash. A man cowering, a bag open at his feet. Gold coins spilling onto the floor. His cries for mercy are cut short as the hag slices into him, dismembering him painstakingly, limb by limb. She cackles, the man's remaining flesh twisted and contorted, becoming the twisted surface of the door before you. Flee, you feel it cry. A scene appears in your mind. Two paladins and a cleric marching through the door, shrouded in the glow of the divine. Weapons brandished, they charge into the hag's lair. Screams of terror pierce the air. You let them in? Naughty. That's a decade for each. You're mine for 30 more years, Petal. The door stays silent. Its form flickers, and you realize that the door is transparent. You see the hag. She walks through the door, its form shimmering. The lightest touch of hope brushes your mind as the presence within retreats. Away! Don't look. Stop pushing on. Should have worn better boots. Prime spot for an hour. There, in the cage. Whatever comes, I'm ready.
Am I doing this? My faith protects me. Better make my next move. You want the girl so bad. Fine. Girl hasn't got long. If you plan to save her. With finesse. <laughs> Despite everything. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Still on my feet. Light on my feet. Wait to sleep. I'm so stupid. How could I have trusted her? I almost gave that monster my child. That's what she wanted! My baby! And God, I was going to do it! For him! My husband! She was going to bring him back. Bring Connor back to life. Connor would have done anything to save me. I had to do the same. I just wanted everything back! Back the way it was. It's my own fault for letting her. Look. I don't like owing people. Here. This socket is worth some coin. Really? That's... My husband gave it to me. I should take him home. His coffin is just upstairs. A decent burial is the least I can give him. Thank you. 
Yeah, I don't think there's anyone else who would have saved me. This place makes my skin crawl. Don't take anything for granted in here. I know I should head home, but I can't bring myself to leave. The thought of putting him in a wheelbarrow and making the journey all over again. <sighs> what? You can! You feel a surge of power from the wand. The air suddenly tastes acrid. It wants to be used. Bring it back! Bring Connor back! Please! something pull at you. The creature yearns for a master. Forget it. The milk's already spilled. 